tiny little signs. Hey, it's a, it's a good size sign. <laughs> Got the big version, small version. Hello, 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 everybody on Saturday evening at D's Country Cocktail Lounge in Madison. How's everybody doing out there? Gather around. Slide up toward the stage, because something very exciting and hot's about to happen. We are thrilled to be a part of this evening, just uh, very briefly. I'm Craig Havikhurst. This is Amy Alvey, and we are the hosts of The Old Fashioned on WMOT Roots Radio 89.5 FM. Beaming Americana music out 24-7 uh, from... Uh, from the studios in Murfreesboro, and soon to be a new studio in, at uh, Riverside Revival over there on Riverside Drive here in East Nashville. So we're excited about that. And uh, I'm just here to let Amy, who oh. cooked up this thing and, had, and uh, was you know, sharp, sharp enough to know we wanted to be part of this, of this incredible gig. This, this band has been uh, ripping it up on the road. And you know, I said, I've never seen a band book more shows and more festivals without a, an album out yet. But there's news on that front. Amy, take it away. <laughs> yes, yeah, so as Craig mentioned, we have the show, The Old Fashioned, and we specifically play old time and bluegrass music of the Americana genre. So we played Big Richard before. Uh, these gals are coming to you from Colorado. Yes. So. I know you guys pay to cover, but it's a long way from Colorado. There's airline miles, gas miles, so there's a big old tip jar right there. So make sure you show them some love. They're going to play you some great fiddle tunes, original songs, amazing harmonies, a lot of instrument switching. And we're just so overjoyed to have Eve, Bonnie, Hazel, and Joy here with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, for their first Nashville play, Big Richard. The sun is rising, rising, rising over the mountain, over the valley. The birds are singing, singing, singing for the dawn of a brand new day.
guys for coming to D's for Big Richard. This is so fun. We're really, really glad to be here for our first official show in Nashville. We hope to come back a lot, you guys. We like it here. All right. <clears throat> Dr. Joy Adams on the cello is going to bring you one now. She gave me trouble all my life. 
First here, folks, ain't gonna be treated this way. Ain't gonna do it. That's Joy Adams on the cello. Yeah. I wasn't joking when I called her a doctor. She is a doctor. I do have I do have a doctorate, but it's the most useless of all the doctorates because it's in the cello, which means that I can help you with absolutely nothing all of the time. I feel like it's helpful. <laughs> That makes one of one of everyone. One of you. Um, this song's a song I wrote with my dad when I was twelve. Yep. Yeah. Um, hope you enjoy it. <laughs>
That's Thank Hazel Royer. She's our brand new member here in Big Richard. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> we like that. All right. Over here on the fiddle, that's Eve Panning, y'all. Make her feel good. Now, here at Big Richard Incorporated, we like to encourage the full exploration of one's gender. So we all have male alter egos. You guys want to meet one of the boys? I, okay, I thought you'd say that. Over on the fiddle, he's a Midwestern dad. Khaki pants, flannel shirt, a golden retriever. Yeah, fishes a lot. We'll probably grill you something. Yep. Fixes the van on the side of the road. Might be a serial killer. <gasps> it's just Steve on the fiddle. Your basic Midwestern dad, you know? And he's going to play you a Christmas carol that he wrote. You guys didn't warn me that it was going to be 4,000 degrees here at D's. Oh my God. Maybe it's just the fiddle tune. We theme all of our shows so we can get our outfits and shit together. And tonight's theme was Nashville Cats. It, I rep Man. It fell apart. Love. My cat is a sweater. And I was like, fuck that cat, dude. I can't I'm right the, now. I'm the only one with a cat. No, Hazel. Uh, Hazel Technically. Hazel never mind. This never mind. Very never literally. Mind. And she was like. I'm the cat lady who collects the cats. <laughs> She's literally. Yeah, that's perfect. It's perfect. I have my uh, Merrells on. I got a sweater vest. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling true, true to myself. Yes. That's what we want in Big Richard. Just full self-expression. That's what we're all about. All right. Speaking of self-expression. <laughs> this song is one that uh, Joy brought to the band because why, Joy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Joy, why? Okay, okay, let me get myself there. 
my husband Andy has been talking about this song for seven years. He's like, we're going to write this song, and it's called You're On My To-Do List. It's just a little song about chores. Big Richard was the obvious fit for such a song. other alter egos up here tuning her mandolin that's never quite a tune just kidding I love you is <laughs> cowboy daddy he's your daddy now cowboy daddy you can yell yeehaw fuck the law when she takes a solo she'd love that or yes daddy alternatively you guys know here in Nashville that Bill Monroe is the father of bluegrass right right oh I'm the daddy of bluegrass now okay so we're just like doing something different. Over in Colorado. 
This is a song about love. special guest to the stage. I know for sure Melody's here. Yeah, Melody Walker, come on up. All right, well, I've gotten to co-write a bunch with Mel, and we've been friends for a long time, and yeah, she's an amazing songwriter. Y'all give it up for Melody. Co-writes with... Everybody here in Nashville runs the Writer's Kitchen over at Jane's. Is a badass. A daddy and Bertha. Just all kinds. All kinds of good stuff. But, um, <laughs> but uh, one of my favorite parts about writing with her is I always get to learn something because she's a smart, a smart cookie as well. And one of the things that I learned from her and Phoebe Hunt, who we wrote this song with, was about something called the missing stair theory, which is this idea that if you have a staircase and there's a missing stair and you know that stair is missing and you're walking down the staircase... It's fine, you just step over it. But if you don't know that stair is missing, effectively you have a very dangerous staircase because you can fall through. So 
this theory takes it and applies it to humans and why as humans we tend to navigate around people who make us uncomfortable, especially as women in this world, and kind of change our own behavior to safely get around them as opposed to face those people head on. And this song asks the question why we do that. It's called The Missing Stare.
Oh, we love her. You love her too. It's Melody Walker. This is my first time seeing Big Richard. I love it. <laughs> I'm not going to make a joke about that. They got enough jokes. I remember my first time, Melody. It's very memorable. It's a memorable thing. This next song is a Leuven Brothers song. Um, I feel like in Nashville I can say that and people might know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, yeah! <laughs> um, and it was also sang by the wonderful Linda Ronstadt and we're going to do a little version of it for you now. This will be our last song. We're going to take a short little set break and uh, set up our merch. Sell you some merch. Maybe if you want some, you could put some money in the tip jar. That'd be awesome. We had to rent two cars because it's spring break. So all the vans are gone. All the minivans, yeah. Everybody's partying. Our usual chariot of choice. Yeah. Soccer, soccer Yeah, we do. A, we fit in a minivan exactly. Exactly right now. We fill the minivan to the brim. So. I 
She left him for someone she left behind. And cried like a baby. And he screamed like a panther in the middle of the night. And he saddled his pony. Went for a ride. It was the time of the preacher in the year of '01. Now the preaching is over and the lessons begun.
guys ready? Yep. Don't bite when the creek runs dry. You don't come this way now anymore. That's a song that we all wrote together. It's called You Don't Come by Big Richard. Thank you. <laughs> all right, well, we've had a good time on this tour already. It's a short one. We're out here. Um, to go to Pelham tomorrow and play at the Caverns for a little, yeah. Doesn't Big Richard feel like it should go in a cave? Like just, it's kind of symbolic. There's a big hole, we're gonna go inside, stuff's gonna happen. 
Oh, it's probably going to feel good. Sweet music. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we're going to be down in Pelham tomorrow, and we got to come play D's, which is pretty fucking cool. So we're gonna, we learned this new tune, this new old tune, just for y'all, yesterday. Actually, we got back from like the world's longest day of flying. It was just a bad pl Sometimes fly days are great. Sometimes they suck. This one sucked. We got back and uh, we're singing it's at like 2 in the morning. Yep. We're still stuck on Colorado time with our sound engineer. Um, most people bring a sound man to their gigs. We bring a sound. Sound Manda. <laughs> I'm trying to introduce you, girl. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's Amanda Abate running sound. <laughs> I don't know what she's saying. Not only is she a great sound person, she's an amazing comedian. Her comedic timing is off the charts. She's really, really gifted in a lot of ways. All right, Joy wrote this next one. A sweeter 
song I have never found Then those back porch doves whispering that the sun would come around again One was speckled and the other brown She wore a ring around her neck like the one you swore was drowned your heart you
That's just for fun. That's because we went, we went on Jam Cruise. Can you tell? Do we look like a band that went on Jam Cruise? Do you guys know about Jam Cruise here in Nashville? Yeah, okay. Gets a little crazy out there in the middle of the ocean with a bunch of hippies. And uh, it's really fun, though, but we had to learn some, you know, some jammy stuff for Jam Cruise. I don't think we've introduced Joy's alter ego yet. I don't think we have, Steve. This... This over here is uh, Ski Boy. Ski Boy. Ski Boy is your uh, kind of typical 17-year-old stoner ski guy, lives in his mom's basement, really wants to grow a beard but can't, but no, he's trying no so, hair. so hard. Yeah, no. Ski, skis all day, doesn't have a real job, exactly. plays no bluegrass band. <laughs> Might have the logo to his favorite ski area tattooed on his ribs over here. I when, also uh, managed to combine the theme today with skiing. I, I would know. like to point out that's a cat on skis. If anybody could do it, you could. I knew it. Knew when, it the uh, whole time. You're the most on. You're the only one on theme, and you have cats on skis. <laughs> when, when, when 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 Ski Boy does something you really like, you can yell, "Send it!" You guys like that idea? Try it. Oh, you got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. That's Ski Boy's little catchphrase, you know? And then when you do that, he'll start wailing on the cello or the banjo even harder. Go crazy. So. It's a banjo. It's never in tune. I'm sorry. Well, um, our... Good friends Andy and Cecilia Thorne wrote this next song. Uh, Andy Thorne is the banjo player in Leftover Salmon, if you guys know that band out here. And uh, this is a song about gun violence. And um, I want to take a moment to say from one gun owner to probably others in this room. We're in Tennessee, the great state of Tennessee, after all. Part of the problem that we have on our hands is our responsibility, too. If you have a gun, it's your responsibility to store it safely. Maybe store the ammunition separate from the, the weapon, especially if you have little kids in the house or if you have someone who has some, you know, some wonky days every now and then. If you're having a couple of days where you feel off, we all get there. Have a plan in place to move your gun to a close friend or family member for a couple of days. This is our responsibility, too. We owe it to our kids.
All right. We got time for a handful of more songs. We sure do appreciate y'all coming to see Big Richard. Um, Joy. Yep. Hazel's going to play you one that she wrote. how to read this tuner <laughs> yet.
disappointed you in the girl that I had become. I was fat, I was ugly, I was Alter ego, by the way, is Sir Willie. Silly Sir Willie. Silly Sir Willie. He's like a knight in shining armor. Yep. You know? He's the kind of guy that, like, if you're in a public place and you've got the door for him, right? You're holding the door open. He's walking towards it. He's not going to walk through it. He's going to open the other door for you because he wants to hold the door. He's that kind of guy. Silly Sir yeah. Willie. He's the kind of guy who'll kill the dragon even if. I, you don't want the dragon to be killed. It's like the dragon in Shrek. It falls in love with the donkey. It's exactly like that. And you like murder that. the dragon. And that's so mean. Oh, Sir Willie. Sir Willie. <laughs> we also, we started a and d, d campaign as a span. Hazel is teaching us the art of Dungeons and Dragons. It's actually really fun. And it was so exciting because when we went to dinner, when we got to Atlanta, we sat next to a table and they were playing Dungeons and Dragons. And you would have thought we were listening, like, over eavesdropping to the most interesting thing. We were, like, we were all silent, just, like, listening to their little quests with their eyes open, being like, this is so exciting. Oh, it was fine until I started chiming in, and I think I, they got a little weirded out. I started answering their questions. I said Dungeons and Dragons really loudly to try to see if they'd Noticed, talk yeah. to us. Yeah. But they didn't. <laughs> Eve wrote these next few tunes.
Unless you come visit us at the merch table and ask us, Big Richard is a dick joke. Just say, say that ourselves. Yeah, every if once in a while. If you're just getting it now, congratulations. It's a dick joke. Good job. Every once in a while we get a really cute, cute little old man who comes up, comes up to the merch table and he's like, now, uh, do you ladies know what uh, Big Richard means? And he's real serious about it. And we're kind of like, no, tell us. We just let him explain it to us. It's really great. But uh, sometimes we get a couple of questions. People want to know, why all the dirty jokes? Why do you have to do it like that? <laughs> and the truth is, we're just a bunch of creeps. When you were here before, couldn't look you in the eyes. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You flow like a We got one more song, folks. 
better make it an old time tune about condoms. Yeah. Uh -huh. 